failed conservative therapy and have arthritis, especially bone on bone or, or advanced arthritis that failed medications, failed physical therapy, failed monofilled meniscectomies or, or arthroscopic surgeries, injections, and they are still not able to do what they want and they're limited in their lifestyle, the next step is essentially a knee replacement or a joint replacement, which most of the time is the best option. It lasts the longest, lasts 10 to 15 years. But in someone like our patient here that's in her 40s, that's already had everything else, she's not she's not really ready for a knee replacement because what's going to happen 15 years down the line after she gets a knee replacement and she gets it now, well, she's, she would likely need a revision and that becomes a much bigger problem. So these are the patients that we refer to as they are falling into the treatment gap. The treatment gap is something that's been that, uh, described and, and it's, it's something that we see in our practice in, in any uh, musculoskeletal practice very often. And these are these type of patients. Patients that have done everything that are standard of care. And I just talked about medications, activity modification, weight loss, injections, uh, sometimes even arthroscopic surgeries. Yet they are still not able to do what they want. They're still living in pain. Yet, because of their age, they're not a perfect candidate, or they're not a great candidate for a joint replacement. So what do we do in these patients in the time that they failed conservative therapy and they need a joint replacement? Well, this is where biologics essentially are, are filling the gap. Because we know that these injectables, either when we talk about plenary-rich plasma, if done the right way, we know that there's, if you do it the wrong way, it's same as placebo, we know that. But if done the right way, as well as mesenchymal stem cells, in the United States, we have to be anatologous cells, which means that it has to be taken from the own patient. Be aware, do not do something outside of the patients in the United States, because that's the, that, that has been purely or shown that there's essentially no living cells. Going back to the treatment gap here. Well, we know that these injectables, either PRP or autologous um, mesenchymal stem cell injections, can provide an improvement, improvement of pain, improvement of function for an extended period of time, much longer than the other non-surgical treatments, like steroid injections, like medications, and essentially has zero side effects. These are your own cells. If it's done properly, they shouldn't have any negative side. Obviously, there's always risk, a risk of an infection, risk of bleeding from the procedure. Those are very minimal, almost non-existent if done the right way. But if it does work, which most patients do get some improvement, they are able to treat those patients in the treatment gap, creating a bridge of better lifestyle, less pain, better function until the patient is ready for a joint replacement. We talked about that these injections are not curing the problem and that's important because we got to make sure that we, we have realistic expectations and we do not over promise something to the patient. These are not curing arthritis. Can they cure other musculoskeletal problems? Yes, absolutely, especially tendons and ligament tears. We see that all the time. Arthritis will not cure it, but it will help. It will help significantly. It will help with pain, that will help with function, it will help with patient's quality of life. And that's why these injectables are a good option for patients that have fallen in the treatment gap. Thank you.